This video shows how to demonstrate the 930XC OTDR from Greenlee Communications using the 500 meter cross connect box. First we have to connect the OTDR to the cross connect box since this is a uh, angle polished uh, bulkhead we'll use the uh, green angle polished connectors and connect it to port 14 of the cross connect box. The next connection is to connect ports 1 and 2 of the Greenle Greenlee Communications cross connect box. And we'll also connect a cable to port 8 of the cross connect box. Now that the uh, Greenlee Communications 930XC OTDR is connected to the 500 meter cross connect box, we can turn the OTDR on. First step is to go to the tools menu at the top right hand corner, so we'll hit enter. And you can see the uh, OTDR is set for auto mode. We can change that uh, so that the uh, 1.3 kilometer range is selected. You'll notice that the pulse width is automatically selected for 30 nanoseconds. And we're going to do 15 seconds of averaging. What we can do now is we can push run. The OTDR will start acquiring data and making a measurement. You can see the actual measurement here of the end of the fiber and a ghost, which is an exact multiple of the 500 meters. The uh, OTDR will now analyze the, the trace and you can see that the the um, analysis uh, shows that the bulkhead is here at the far left hand side annotated with event number one which is time equals zero or zero meters uh, the end of the fiber is event number two which is there uh, at about 500 meters and we have the other one which is the ghost it's not annotated the OTDR will not annotate a ghost um, the location is shown here at 514 meters now what we can do, we can redo that measurement and I can do a mandrel wrap on the end of the cable at port number 8. You can use any quarter inch type of um, pen to do this with. And now what we'll do is we'll push the run button again to do a measurement. Again, it's 15 seconds, and you can see that the, the ghost is, is now removed. That's because the end of the fiber here is a flat reflection, which is a very uh, strong reflection, and it will cause uh, uh, the detector to saturate. This is why we want to have uh, as few reflections and reflective components in a network. You can see, again, we uh, have uh, the bulkhead at event number one, and the end of the fiber, which is at event number two, and it's uh, measured at 514 meters.